This is the tutorial regarding how to draw electronomatic circuit of A plus B plus A minus B minus. Here I have written the steps how to draw the pneumatic circuit. The first four step indicates how to draw pneumatic part and the next 11 step indicates how to draw electric part of this circuit. Now first of all draw two cylinders, cylinder A and B uh, and give them name cylinder A, cylinder B as I have written there then secondly write the name uh, of limit switches S1 and S2 S3 and S4 now what is S1 what is S2 uh, when cylinder moves to the forward position then it achieves the position S2 so it indicated by limit switch S2 when cylinder moves at backward position its position is gets indicated by limit switch S1 similarly for cylinder B uh, forward position is indicated by limit switch S4 and backward position is represented by limit switch S3. Now third step is to draw direction control valves. Now these are two direction control valves. Now uh, in exam they gives what uh, type of direction control valves we have to use. Here I have used 4 by 2 direction control valves. Now what is 4 the number of ports is equal to 4 1 2 3 and 4. 4 ports are used and 2 position. This is first position. This is second position. Okay. Now after drawing uh, direction control wall it must be mean, uh, mostly means at most of the times it is solenoid operated. Means Y1, Y2 indicates it is solenoid operated. Similarly for direction control wall for cylinder B it is also solenoid operated now here is compressor which supplies air and this is the exhaust now the what is how to decide the position of cylinder and direction control valve for that the check the sequence uh, of the electronomatic circuit here we have to draw a plus b plus a minus b minus so the final position of cylinder a is a minus therefore cylinder is at the backward position cylinder is at the backward position that means solenoid y2 must be actuated because when solenoid y2 gets actuated this second position is achieved so that compressed air is flows in this way from 1 to 2 that's why cylinder a remains in the backward position similarly for cylinder B solenoid Y4 is actuated and compressed air flows from 1 to 2 and cylinder B remains at the backward position this is all about the pneumatic part of electronomatic circuit now how to draw the electric part first of all draw two lines uh, of power supply 24 volts and 0 volts now before that decide the number of relays required now how to decide the number of relays required is uh, see the sequence of uh, operation uh, which we have to perform a plus b plus a minus b minus so divide that in such a way that single cylinder does not occur on one side means a plus a minus doesn't should not be occur on one side now here i have divided in such a way that a plus b plus b plus occurs on one side and a minus b minus occurs on the other side so this means we require two relays if uh, we have to perform operations in such a way that a plus a minus b plus b minus in that case we cannot divide this sequence in two equal parts in that case we have to make three parts so number of relays would be three so here uh, we are using two relays now what relay does uh, we we will see that later uh, now first of all uh, draw uh, 24 volt line and 0 volt line then next is draw push button which is for single cycle and second is detent switch which is for multiple cycles when we press the push button the cycle just uh, occurs at once means a plus b plus a minus b minus occurs only once and when we draw the detent switch this switch this cycle repeats until we stop the circuit okay so uh, after that 
we have to draw one uh, roller operated normally closed limit switch which is of last actuated position of the cylinder now last actuated position of cylinder is this b minus now b minus corresponding to limit switch s3 therefore we are going to draw normally closed limit switch which is roller operated here name s3 now below that draw our first relay which is relay k1 okay now this part indicates memory unit now how to draw memory unit there is one trick i will tell you that is whenever we use relay k1 then always use open switch of k1 and close switch of k, uh, k2 where k2 is the next relay that is we are going to use okay now what this relay does whenever this relay gets energizes means whenever we uh, presses this push button the current flows through this relay k1 when this relay k1 gets energizes it closes all the open switches which who has the same name as that of this relay means uh, those who have same name uh, means k1 all the switches uh, which are open they get closed and all the switches which are closed they gets open means uh, when this k1 relay gets energizes this switch gets closed this switch gets opened this switch gets closed this switch gets closed okay now what happens when this switch get closed current is flow through this line so y1 solenoid gets actuated now remember current is also flowing through this line because k1 is also closed here but here there is one switch which is open that's why y3 is not actuating first okay y1 is actuating uh, first when y1 is getting actuated the air flows from 1 to 4 means in this way so that cylinder a moves forward and achieves position s2 as soon as it uh, achieves position s2 then this limit switch we uh, draw here it gets closed and only after uh, achieving uh, uh, the position s2 this uh, this switch gets closed and on uh, y3 solenoid gets actuated once y3 solenoid gets actuated cylinder b moves forward okay so cylinder b only moves forward when cylinder a actuates position s2 okay now this completes uh, our seventh uh, steps now eighth step is draw second roller operated normally open limit switch now what is that when cylinder b achieves position s4 after that we have to perform next operation that is a minus right now what we have did a plus and b plus now next what we have to perform a minus and b minus now what uh, how it was done first of all cylinder will check whether b plus is hap actually happened or not then it will perform the operation a minus so once s4 is gets actuated when cylinder moves uh, forward it uh, it is at b plus position at b plus position limit switch s4 gets actuated okay so that's why here we have drawn limit switch s4 and this is relay k2 and when cylinder b actuates position uh, actuates limit switch s4 this switch gets close relay k2 gets charged and when relay k2 gets charged this uh, uh close switch gets opened this open switch gets close this switch gets close this switch gets close okay now current is flowing through this line so y2 gets actuated when y2 gets actuated cylinder uh, a which is at forward position which it goes back means it's reverse position and once it actuates limit switch s1 okay once it actuates limit switch s1 this switch which is initially open it gets closed okay and current flows through y4 so uh, y4 gets actuated and cylinder b moves backward 
this is the operation for electro pneumatic circuit We press the push button. First of all, current uh, flows to relay K1. Relay K1 gets energized, and as soon as it gets energized, see it closes with the open switches. And now, close switches hitting open. See, this open switch gets closed, this open switch gets closed, this open switch gets closed, and this closed switch gets open. So, current is flowing to K1, and my one gets actuated. Now, see. Since Y1 gets actuated, it achieves position 1 in direction of the wall and cylinder A moves forward. As soon as cylinder A achieves position S2, this button is getting closed. Y3 is actuated and as soon as Y3 gets actuated, cylinder B moves forward and cylinder B uh, actuates limit switch S4 this switch gets closed now we relay K2 is getting actuated now all the open switches getting closed see now Y2 is getting actuated so since Y2 is getting actuated cylinder in most reverse position and as soon as it achieves position S1. This open switch gets closed and Y4 gets actuated. As Y4 gets actuated, cylinder B moves in the reverse direction.